you have to go back to the USPGA Championship in August 2015 to find the last time Rory McIlroy and Tiger Woods both played tournament golf in the same week. Boy, over the last three days, have they shown us what we've been missing. They might be separated by 8,000 miles and 12 time zones but that has merely added to the fun. Barely had Woods birdied three of his last five holes to make the halfway cut in the Farmers Insurance Open in California on Friday night. Then McElroy was rising to pluck five birdies from the last seven holes he had left to play of his second round yesterday morning in the Omega Dubai Desert Classic. It was box office brilliance from both players. The Northern Irishman then had one of those afternoons in the third round where the magic was proving elusive and putts were burning the edges of holes rather than dropping in. Two strokes ahead at halfway, at one point McElroy fell three behind the impressive 22-year-old Chinese Hao Tong Li, a chore. Winner already and surely the golf superstar in the making that nation has been crying out for, before he dusted himself down and delivered a late rally to close the gap to one shot. McElroy shot 68 to Lee's nerveless 64 to take his haul for seven rounds in 2018 to a ridiculous 37 under par. And all he needs now to complete the perfect return following his four-month sabbatical is to catch Lee on Sunday and claim his first triumph since September 2016. Even if he doesn't, he'll surely head to America for six more events before the Masters feeling things are on track. At the end of the day, it's only my second event back and I'm in contention to win again, so I've got to be happy with that," said McElroy. For Woods, too, it's all about getting in some sort of shape for Augusta. The most important thing from his first PGA Tour event in 12 months and only his third competitive start in over two years was that he walked off after 36 holes with no health issues. Thankfully, not only was he walking well and swinging hard, too hard. If truth be told, but we were also treated to the considerable bonus of one of those rounds where Woods makes a score when all that he is going for him are smoke and mirrors. After nine holes where he couldn't locate a fairway to save his life, he lay 125th in the 156-man field and seemingly had absolutely no chance of being around for the weekend. Woods's golf didn't improve much thereafter but the prime reason why he has 63 more victories than he has missed cuts, the mind-blowing figures are 79 and 16 respectively, came into play. Chips finished close to the holes and putts dropped through sheer will, it seemed, as much as anything else. It seemed barely credible that, after so many bad shots, he arrived on his last hole needing a birdie at the par 5 to make the cut. Woods once birdied the final hole at Torrey Pines to force a playoff in the 2008 US Open that he would go on to win. This birdie came on the north course rather than the south but it was still a highlight to add to all the others he has enjoyed at a venue where he was won eight times. It is the first cut he has made since August 2015, the tournament that followed the USPGA, a span of 888 days. As you can imagine, the reaction among the tens of thousands who turned up to watch was euphoric. As for the man himself, he was rightly proud. It was typical me, I'll fight for whatever I can get, and it felt good, said Woods. It was a grind but I expected that after being away for so long. Now all aspects of my game will benefit from another two rounds. As I try to get my feelings back for what I can do in competitive play, I've played every day preparing at home but you can't replicate what it's like at a tournament. Woods hit just three fairways in his second round but was saved by a short game. As he needed a mere 23 putts. We've seen that movie before, haven't we? You know. From now on it's all down to whether he can stay healthy, said his playing partner, Charlie Hoffman. If that happens. I'm expecting big things. From California to the Middle East, therefore, the excitement is building. After Dubai. McElroy heads for Pebble Beach and in two weeks' time, the pair are due to compete at the same event.